The president of Uhuru Kenyatta has increased the minimum wage by 12% effective 1st of May 2022. Addressing the 57th Labor Day celebrations, President Kenyatta said it is critical to review the minimum wages so as to cushion Kenyan workers against further erosion of their purchasing power. He said the prevailing circumstances, the world has made it necessary to review the minimum wage while also guaranteeing the competitiveness of the country's economy. The head of state said for the past three years there has been no review of the minimum wages, while the cost of living has increased with inflation ranging between 5 to 6 percent annually. The president said the government has found it necessary to increase the minimum wages. As a caring government, we find there is a compelling case to review the minimum wages so as to cushion our workers, I today declare an increase of the minimum wage by 12 percentage points with effect from the 1st of May 2022. The head of state lauded the role and resilience of workers in bolstering the country's efforts to bounce back and build stronger after the COVID-19 pandemic. I want to give example of one particular group of Juakali artisans who for a long time have operated on Gong Road, have operated in Kam uh, Kariobangi and in Kamukunji. They came together and have built a company that today is worth over 250 million Kenya shillings. President Kenyatta assured Kenyans that the government has taken sustainable measures to cushion the vulnerable, including the workers and farmers on the cost of inputs. That at the height of the pandemic, we took necessary action to reduce pay as you earn for the lowest workers in order to avail more income to our workers across the country. Hakuna mfanyikazi wa serikali ambaye alifutwa kwa sababu ya ukosefu wa pesa. Watu wetu wote waliendelea na kazi zao bila kukatwa mishahara vile ilikuwa inaendelea katika nchi zingine. Wewe ulikatwa mshahara? <laughs> <laughs> Following this announcement, the lowest paid Kenyan worker in Nairobi will now earn 15,201 shillings. This is an important day for workers all over the world because of the significant role human resources play in socio-economic development of our nation. We take note of the high cost of living that is making life difficult for all of us, but certainly for those at the bottom of the scale. So we do humbly request the government to focus on addressing the push factors behind the high cost of living. Kotu boss Francis Atoli using the occasion to hit at the Salaries and Remuneration Commission over what he claimed to be interference in negotiations between employers and employees on their collective bargaining agreements. That this area of SRC must be revisited. It was put in place only to advise not to assume the social partner's responsibility of free and independently collective bargaining. On the request by Kotu to have representation in the NSSF board, the president directed that Rose Omamo's name be gazetted by Wednesday next week. It is all smiles as workers exit the Nyayo Stadium following the announcement by President Uhuru Kenyatta on the increment of the minimum wage. The announcement coming at a time when most of them are bearing the brand following the high cost of living. Nancy Okware. Reporting for Sunday Express from the Nyayo Stadium, Nairobi.